Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bass Door Woodworking. Today I made this. Although this looks pretty complex, it's deceptively easy to make. It's essentially a box on some legs. So this project, while not everyone's going to be making a five and a half by 24 inch tube holder, you can adapt this to be a plant or a raised garden, anything that you need it to be. I started by ripping down the plywood. This is going to be a display piece in a store, so I'm using some nice 3 quarter inch furniture grade birch plywood here. I'm using my mobile workbench as an infeed table, allowing me to safely maneuver a full sheet of plywood by myself on the table saw. The display table will hold five glass tubes that measure five and a half inches in diameter and are 24 inches tall. The tubes will be inset about three inches below the surface of the table. I then cross cut the sides, top, front, and bottom to length using the radial arm saw. Believe it or not, these are all different video clips. Apparently, I just happen to be incredibly robotic and multiple shots end up looking like repeated clips. So I have that going for me. It was then back to the table saw to rip the top, bottom, and sides to their final width. The holes that will hold the glass tubes need to be spaced precisely, and the offset from the front and back need to be done just right, so I take my time laying out center as it relates to the overall piece and not just the top board, and mark center location for each of the 5.5 inch holes. I drilled a pilot for each hole using a quarter inch drill bit. This will help guide the hole saw and hopefully reduce wandering when starting the hole. I chucked the monster of a hole saw into my drill press and took things slow. I really did not know whether this little drill press would have trouble with this hole saw, seeing as it's 5.5 inches in the diameter, but it handled it like a champ. I only applied light pressure to the hole saw, allowing it space and time to clear away the sawdust as it cut and clearing the blank after each hole. While past me toils away drilling those holes, present me can give you some more information about this project's inception. My friend from college works at an adult use dispensary opening in July 2021 named Ready. He had seen the channel and reached out to see if I would be interested in building this display piece for their Newton location and provided me with some design details for size, leg type, and so on until we came up with this cool project that you're watching now. I then used a quarter inch roundover bit and my palm router to clean up both sides of the holes. Then I cut the sides down to their final height using the radial arm saw. It was time for assembly. I dry fitted everything together using number 8 wood screws before going back, applying wood glue and refastening. The ready location that houses this piece is in Newton, Massachusetts, and they have a couple of additional locations opening in Natick, Mass, and the Fenway neighborhood in Boston. I applied wood glue along the front edge and held the front in place with pin nails while the glue dried. As a note, this video is not sponsored by Ready or anything like that, I just think it's cool that they gave me the opportunity to do this project and wanted to give them a shout out as a show of appreciation. I attached the bottom of the display using more number 8 wood screws. The glass tubes are inset about 3 inches beneath the surface of the table, so I used the cutoffs from the top and bottom to create a reinforced shelf to hold the tubes. The tubes are not very heavy and will only be filled with ping pong balls, but I want to make sure it's rock solid. With the shelf installed, we enter the realm of sanding and finishing. 
This is furniture grade plywood, so it already has a nicely sanded face, but I hit all surfaces with 220 grit before applying edge banding. And apply edge banding I do. I apply banding to all visible edges using an old clothes iron I permanently borrowed from my dad's house, and then trim the banding using a razor. I also use some 220 grit sandpaper to quickly blend the edge of the banding with the plywood. It was time to apply stain. Here I am using some classic gray from Minwax. I'm applying light coats, allowing them to soak in for about 15 minutes so that I can sneak up on my final color. I then attached the 28 inch hairpin legs. I then gracefully lifted the display off of my workbench and placed it on the floor. And now to easily the most difficult and stressful part of this entire build, the lettering. Reddy wanted to have verbiage applied beneath each of the 24 inch tubes, so using my vinyl cutter I created some stencils using non-permanent vinyl, being careful to apply the stencil in line with center on each hole, and then I lightly applied black paint to the stencil. This is not difficult or stressful because it required any advanced level of skill, but if I made a mistake, it would require re-sanding and finishing potentially the entire front of the piece, adding hours or potentially days to the project when accounting for drying time. Luckily everything applied cleanly and I did not have any bleeding on my stencil, so I was finally able to apply a couple of coats of matte finish polycrylic to seal the piece and give a nice smooth finish. I'll try to get a picture of this all set up with the tubes in place at my friend's work. Um, if I was able to do that before editing this video, you will see it right now. And it's all done. I'm very happy with the way that this thing turned out. I'm incredibly proud of my drill press for cutting these holes so cleanly. I never would have thought that thing was capable of this. But overall, I'm incredibly happy with the way that this turned out. I really like the finish and I love the choice of legs that they had. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you.